we are a product mm -hmm. of what we grew up hearing mm -hmm. or how we grew up seeing our adults or our satis interacting with money. Mm -hmm. Children need to run mm -hmm. about money mm -hmm. from an early age so that they are able to relate with it mm -hmm. in the right way. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, depending on where you're watching us from. It's yet another day that we come to you where we share financial diet. It's like food. I always say this, this is financial food. We share with you, we serve financial information and uh, actually come to you on dinner time if you're in here in, in this uh, uh, East African time. And uh, we are glad to share with you information that makes you grow. We said just like food, you have to eat food every day. If you're fasting, you will definitely have, your body requires food. So financially, you still require to eat and keep eating, keep consuming, because, and, and don't say that I, I, I ate yesterday, tomorrow I will not eat. No, if you don't, you will die. And if you don't put in practice some of this financial information and financial practices, you end up uh, losing weight. So we don't want you to lose financial weight. We want you to grow financially. We want you to stay healthy. And uh, last week we had uh, one uh, money coach who really shared information about how as a young kid uh, uh, you need to get to know and to start practicing a few things. Start teaching your kids uh, from an early age about uh, about practices that they need to put in place. And uh, we are privileged again to have her here with us uh, to continue sharing with us about a few things. Uh, and, and before she shares and before we share, you need to know her and you need to have her introduce herself. Karibu sana. Uh, tell us who you are for someone seeing us for the first time. Tell us who you are. Santi mm -hmm. thank you for having me in this show. Mm -hmm. I'm actually very honored. My name is Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. I am a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, Christ is Lord and Savior of my life. Mm. I am a family person. I am a mother. I am a wife. Mm -hmm. uh, I am a money coach, mm -hmm. a finance advisor, mm -hmm. an investment advisor. Mm -hmm. And especially my passion mm -hmm. is in children, mm -hmm. teenagers, young adults. Mm -hmm. I, I am on a mission. Mm -hmm raise financially responsible citizens mm -hmm. who will build strong families, mm -hmm. neighborhoods, mm -hmm. local international communities. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, I do finance advisory, investment advisory. Mm -hmm. I help you plan your retirement. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we, re we realize we are retiring when it is on the door. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that is what I do. Actually, about retirement, I'm always reminded of this. I always give this story about someone. Uh, I was 25 years of age that particular time. No, I was actually, I think, 30 years of age that particular time. This friend of mine comes and tells me I am celebrating 35 years of age. And I laughed and I was like, wow, you're too old. You know, how, 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 how do you feel that old, you know? And then I figured uh, with time, and this comes with age, retirement will come. We will get there uh, and, and you start planning for retirement when you're young. I used to look at my dad when he was young and energetic. Right now I look at him, there's white hair, and uh, he's not as strong as he was those days. And uh, I'm not as young as I was. That time. <laughs> <laughs> when you thought you were already so old. Yeah, I thought my dad is old. I, I'm not as, as young as I was that particular time. So yeah, some of these things, we have. it's a journey. It's a journey. It's a life journey that we have to keep going. So I think you can recap to us some of the things that we talked about last 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 week about uh, the, the the kid, the young adult, and the teenager. Some of the things that they need to learn from a tender age. Uh, first of all, is that uh, we need to expose our children. Mm -hmm. Our children need to learn mm -hmm. about money mm -hmm. from an early age. Mm -hmm so that they are able to relate with it mm -hmm. in the right way. Mm -hmm. Because a subject, mm -hmm. just like you're saying, retirement is a journey. Mm -hmm. Even this finance literacy subject mm -hmm. is always a journey. Mm -hmm. It cannot grow overnight. Mm -hmm. So we need to be starting it from an early age. Mm -hmm. um, so we need to expose our children mm -hmm. to finance literacy mm -hmm. education mm -hmm. or to these skills, to cultivate these skills, mm -hmm. attitudes. Our attitudes sometimes around money, they are very bad. Mm -hmm. Our habits mm -hmm. around money, mm -hmm. we need to nip 
or to address them mm -hmm. from a young age. Mm -hmm. So really, should, uh, money subjects should, should start from a real life. Wow. Yeah. And I think our, 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 our CS for Education should listen to this. They should put in place money talks and money conversations from a very tender age. I do not know what, uh, what a mall concept, uh, the, the bearing of mall concept into money. Or uh, uh, there was another one, that, there was another one uh, Pascal something. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we learn very difficult things, but we don't learn, we, we learn very few things about money from a very tender age so i think it should be part of uh, part of our our, 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 our curriculum mm, journey definitely in in our schools especially with the cbc mm -hmm. you see now the emphasis is on the cbc mm. uh, finance literacy mm -hmm. should be a major part of the cbc mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that uh, and that is the only way we are going to address some of the crises that we are dealing with mm -hmm. around money mm -hmm. you know at the world of our generation, actually my calling is on the next generation, mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. the world of our children mm -hmm. will be different. Mm -hmm. We should inculcate it, even mm -hmm. in the education curriculum, mm -hmm. in the churches, mm -hmm. in homes, mm -hmm. wherever we have groups of children, actually children learn money better when they're in groups. Mm -hmm. uh, we should always have the subject. Well, that reminds me, actually when in Sunday school, instead of only learning about Jonah swallowing, uh, being swallowed by the whale, yeah. <laughs> mm. we should also learn about money, how Jesus, uh, the story about Jesus uh, paying taxes and, uh, and, uh, and, and uh, the masters that were given talents and some were told to invest and some didn't invest. Not just the main church, even in Sunday school. In, even in Sunday school. Mm, mm. And you know, the Bible recognizes mm -hmm. this subject of money. There are over 200 verses, mm -hmm. over 200 mm -hmm. verses in the Bible mm -hmm. that talk about money. Mm -hmm. And even whatever it is that we do around money is based purely on the Bible. Mm -hmm. There's this verse in Proverbs 13:11 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that says, uh, dishonest money mm -hmm. widows away. But mm -hmm. he who grows their money little by, by little yeah. makes it grow. Mm -hmm. And that little by little, mm -hmm. it is always a journey, mm -hmm. is, is what we always advocate for. Mm -hmm. Money grows little by little. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Yeah. So you don't, you don't start and stop, you have to keep growing. Retro by retro, it's a continuous little. journey. It is wow. a journey. Just it's like we have journey. said, the journey of retirement mm -hmm. starts early. Mm -hmm. Many times we get away just because this subject we grew up when it is silent. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are aware that we need to start for our retirement. Mm -hmm. When we start at the starting, actually, we are growing old. a bit old. Yes, yeah. 50 is knocking, uh, <laughs> 45, 60, uh, you know, yeah, that's how you, yeah. Now, um, on to our topic today, my money blueprint. <laughs> I like that, my money blueprint. Yeah. So how is your money programming? I like that question. And I like answer, asking you that question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How is your money programming? Um, okay. Or you should ask <laughs> the viewer, how is the, <laughs> how is the money programming? Uh, remind me, before we close this session, uh -huh. to leave the viewer with, uh, with an assignment. Absolutely. Eh? Absolutely. This is personal finances. Uh -huh. It's personal. It's mm -hmm. about me as a person mm. and my money. Mm -hmm. You know, there are things we don't discuss, mm. like my money. Yeah. So we want to leave that as an assignment mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. ask the head. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we will ask them, what, how is your money programming? Or we will leave them with an assignment. We will have an assignment. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, how does money? Uh, how how when you talk about the money, my personal money blueprint, what do you mean? Okay, uh, a blueprint. Mm -hmm. uh, who am I? Or how have I been? How how have I been programmed? Mm -hmm. We have witnessed cases. Mm -hmm. For example, when a child is born, mm -hmm. we have had some religions mm -hmm. who go to talk to the child. Mm -hmm directly from the womb, mm -hmm. because now they are programming that child, mm -hmm. or, or the mind of that child, as much as you think they cannot hear, mm -hmm. uh, they are programming that child in a certain way, mm -hmm. uh, and it has happened. Mm -hmm. So programming refers mm -hmm. to how we are wired, mm -hmm. especially allowed money. Mm -hmm. And this is something that happens right from childhood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what are mm -hmm. those conversations? Mm -hmm. Replicating first to the 
okay, how is it with money? Mm -hmm. The conversations that we had, mm -hmm. not when we are big mm -hmm. or when we are grown up, mm -hmm. right from childhood, mm -hmm. yeah, around mm -hmm. money. What are the responses mm -hmm. that we got mm -hmm. as children? How did we see our parents or our guardians mm -hmm. or env the environment that we grew up in mm -hmm. relating with money? Mm -hmm. What were the money conversations? That mm -hmm. forms our money blueprint. Mm -hmm. It's our programming around money. Wow. Yeah. So how the, the, the upbringing, you know, I'm, not, I'm, I'm told of uh, two communities in, in these countries. In this country, those two communities, they, they're very particular about money. Actually, all the other communities say that these communities, there's a joke. <laughs> that for you to know someone is actually dead. very dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You drop money. If they don't turn, they're actually dead. <laughs> yeah. So that is the conditioning. Uh, you know, they 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 they, they have been. Um, it, it's it's how they found the community, doing things around money. Around money. Yes. They have to be in business. You have to be selling something, even from a very tender age, or transacting and making sure that there is money. And there are others that, um, that others that believe, or let me, let me ask it differently. Yeah. Uh, what are some of the, give me examples of conditionings. Conditionings. Uh -huh. uh, uh, they manifest, for example, in how we deal with money. Mm -hmm. uh, me and you, mm -hmm. or me, me and my sister, mm -hmm. or my brother, mm -hmm. born from the same mother, same father. Mm -hmm. We don't have the same money habits. Mm -hmm. We don't deal with money mm -hmm. the same way. Mm -hmm. uh, so some programming or some conditioning is that we have some people who are big spenders, mm -hmm. others who mm -hmm. are holders mm -hmm. or misers if you want. Mm -hmm. We have others who are very, very calculated mm -hmm. uh, with their money. Mm -hmm. they, that, that is called their money personality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, if we are buying something, mm -hmm. there's somebody who go for the most expensive mm -hmm. and the other person will look for the cheapest mm -hmm. because of their money personality, because of how they relate with money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. By the way, because there are some that will say cheap is expensive. There are others that say, if I buy a cheap one, by the time I'm getting to the cost, Ateki Arabica, by the time I'm getting to the cost that you spend when you say spending 100,000, for me to buy, uh, to get to 100,000, I'll only, I'll need 10 phones. Mm -hmm. And of course, you can't buy a phone today and tomorrow it's, it's, it's spoiled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're right, it's, it's, it's how you, 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 you're conditioned. About money, yeah. And, and what conditions, what makes me different from my brother? What makes me uh, different from my relative? We are all from the same genealogy or the same lineage. But you see, there's a difference between how one is a miser, one is a spendthrift. Mm -hmm. I live my life, you know, to cash it at But there's one that calculates risks, you know. Mm -hmm. But we are all from the same home, from the same family. But we all respond to money different. The environment is the same. We've been brought up by the same parents together. Mm -hmm. But what makes me different from the other person? Um, what I would say is that... Uh, I know we're really good get getting... <laughs> <laughs> to the psychologist, yeah. but of course I uh -huh. have studied a bit of... Uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. Just the money part of it, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. And um, this money blueprint, mm -hmm. it is not born. Mm -hmm. It is made, mm -hmm. yeah, along mm -hmm. the way of life. Mm -hmm. And for example, when we look at the Asian community, for example, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how they go with their children to their businesses. Mm -hmm. These children learn money all mm -hmm. about businesses mm -hmm. right from their parents. Mm -hmm. Unless us or, or other communities mm -hmm. uh, where the child is in school or may maybe throughout, mm -hmm. they never get to set foot, for example, in your business mm -hmm. or whatever it is that you do mm -hmm. uh, in your life. Mm -hmm. And of course, at uh, some point in life, mm -hmm. we can see the difference. Mm -hmm. We have seen the how the their businesses, those mm -hmm. who teach their children and pass over their businesses to their children. Ac actually, what they do, akifunga uh shule, -huh. asubui when the father is going to work, they go together. Can you imagine? Baka Johnny stays there. When, they, when they're done with school, that's their first employment. When the internship, they do internship, and now when they graduate, they come there. Mm 
mm -hmm. to work there. Can you tell the, uh, and I think the difference is clear. Mm -hmm. We can see the difference. Mm -hmm. How some of these businesses mm -hmm. have uh, lasted for years mm -hmm. uh, and they have continued flourishing. Mm -hmm. When those of us who do not pull our children mm -hmm into our businesses or in whatever it is that we do. Mm -hmm. The vision goes with the vision uh, bearer. bearer. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You are gone mm -hmm. and the vision is gone with you. I, actually, I'm, I'm, reminded, I'm reminded of uh, one of the, one, one family, actually several families. You'll find that they are very wealthy as, as, as families, but the father is the one that holds those businesses. When the father dies, the kids will either squander the money or fight for their money and that business will die and they will do other businesses, not what their father was running with or what the family was running with. So is, is it that, uh, is the issue the, the father or is the issue the kids? <laughs> the issue is how we are programmed. Mm -hmm. The issue is our, 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 our blueprint, mm -hmm. our societies. Mm -hmm. our, just what, what we said the other time, mm -hmm. that we don't cultivate these, mm -hmm. these things mm -hmm. from an age. So mm -hmm. when somebody is an adult, mm -hmm. and we have had those cases, you know, especially just in our country, mm -hmm. cases that we know, mm -hmm. they're in the public uh, domain. Mm -hmm. Our parents who are doing really well financially mm -hmm. until their time comes, mm -hmm. and those businesses come crumbling down. Mm -hmm. We don't want that. Mm -hmm. We would want to... Uh, program our children mm -hmm. from a narrative mm -hmm. in the light perspective, mm -hmm. in a positive way, mm -hmm. in um, with the right hab attitudes, with mm -hmm. the right habits, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. the right programming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So are there faulty blueprints? Okay, I know they're good <laughs> <laughs> blueprints, but there are, are there faulty blu blueprints? Actually, what we have just described uh, with Asian and the uh, maybe some Indians, those are some of the good yeah. blueprints. Uh -huh. These ones that are come crumbling down, uh -huh. sometimes uh, they are the fault ones. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, there's this book mm -hmm. by Eka, mm -hmm. The Millionaire's Might. Mm -hmm. He really looks at it, at that uh, subject of blueprint mm -hmm. in a in a very different way, mm -hmm. which I think is very, very positive. And I recommend that book. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, some of the things that we had around money mm -hmm. or how we are programmed, mm -hmm. some of the things, they mm -hmm. are retrogressive. Mm -hmm. They are actually faulty mm -hmm. uh, blueprints. Mm -hmm. Money is the, is the soup or the soap for the soul, mm. you know? Sabuni Araho. Can you imagine? <laughs> money unlocks all... Is the key that mm -hmm. unlocks all doors. All doors, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. those are all photo blueprints. Mm -hmm. The rich people are arrogant. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we treat them like that. Mm -hmm. Somebody who seems to be doing well, some mm -hmm. people think they are very, very arrogant. And sometimes they are not they arrogant. They are not. Yeah. It is a photo blueprint that we have. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if we worked or if we had the right money blueprint, mm -hmm. or we are aware of that, mm -hmm. uh, really we would work put some work mm -hmm. on it, mm -hmm. would work on, would look at uh, our different money personalities, for example, mm -hmm. like this pedder mm -hmm. or this miser. Mm -hmm. When you are aware that I am that person mm -hmm. and that I, it is not within my control because that's how I was, pro I was programmed, that's mm -hmm. my money blueprint. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you go the journey of uh, wondering or mm -hmm. finding out mm -hmm. what is it that I can do mm -hmm. or stop doing mm -hmm. so that I reduce the or I minimize the, mm -hmm. uh, the negatives mm -hmm. of my money blueprint mm -hmm. and maximize on the, the positives. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I, I think I would, I would ask, what are some of the things that someone can do, uh, you've actually said, someone can do to rectify or correct or um, polish the, 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 the negative uh, faulty blueprints and refine them to become better good blueprints? Um, first of all is um, investing in finance literacy. Mm -hmm. uh, want to know. Mm -hmm or to be aware. Mm -hmm. How do I relate with money? Mm -hmm. What is my money blueprint? Mm -hmm. What is my programming? Mm -hmm. What did I grow up hearing? Mm -hmm. And actually this is, that is the assignment. Mm -hmm. We shall refine it to us there. But mm -hmm. I would want my viewer to take a minute. Mm -hmm. 
try to reflect back mm -hmm. as a child. Mm -hmm. What were we told mm -hmm. when we asked for some money? Mm -hmm. You know? Well, did you ever hear statements like, Kwani uh, are made of money? Somebody said the parents used to ask them, what do you think I'm made of? Or, Kwani unafikirianga zinapanango committee? <laughs> exactly. Uh -huh. Do you think money grows on trees? On trees, yeah. So I would want our viewer to, to just reflect back mm -hmm. as a child. Mm -hmm. What is that conversation mm -hmm. that you had around money mm -hmm. that shapes your life today mm -hmm. or your decisions today? Mm -hmm. And you know it has a factor in our fears. How do we handle our fears mm -hmm. around life? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, because of our programming. Mm -hmm. So please evaluate yourself. Mm -hmm. Please try to look back mm -hmm. as you are growing up. Mm -hmm. What were those conversations? Mm -hmm. What were you, you told? Mm -hmm. And how do they affect you today? Mm -hmm. Or are they working for you mm -hmm. or against you? So you're saying that some of the things we were told when we were growing up, yeah. they have a bearing into what is happening in our adult adulthood. Definitely. You know who I am today? Mm -hmm. I am a product. Mm -hmm. First of all, mm -hmm. of my history, of mm -hmm. where I've come from, yeah. I am a product of that. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, I'm also a product of the other things that mm -hmm. have happened in my life mm -hmm. along the way mm -hmm. of life. Mm -hmm. I am not who I am because of the things that happened in my life yesterday mm -hmm. or last year. Mm -hmm. So even how we relate with money mm -hmm. is a factor mm -hmm. of how we were brought up as children. Mm -hmm. Those conversations that we had, mm -hmm. what we were told. I went to one place mm -hmm. and the director, in a school I was introducing the money club. Mm -hmm. And the director was very, very categorical. Mm -hmm. She told me mm -hmm. that as we were growing up, mm -hmm. our father always used to tell us about money. We mm -hmm. used to read the newspaper. You know that part of the investment in the stock market? Mm -hmm. There's that part. Yeah. They, they used to read with the father. Mm -hmm. And you know she said something very profound. Mm -hmm. Because of that, mm -hmm. I and my brothers, mm -hmm. none of us is on our knees. Mm -hmm. Meaning, mm -hmm. they are doing really well. Mm -hmm. they, that subject mm -hmm. affected them. Mm -hmm. Positively. Positively. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So really, we are a product mm -hmm. of what we grew up hearing mm -hmm. or how we grew up seeing our adults or our societies interacting with money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. I, I like that, 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 that story that you've given about this person that used to take them through um, uh, you know, I, I'm reminded when we were growing up, some some people were key letter news is a pesa. Mm -hmm. That is the boring news that people switch off. But as you said, someone was telling me he's that is the best news out of the entire news because their conditioning, their programming was from an early age. They had interest in money, so they had interest to know. This stock, how are the how are the stocks moving? There are some people working here. Your business news, it's like their mind switches off. Uh, the, their news is when the when the man bites the dog. Yes. After that, mm -hmm. they are off. <laughs> <laughs> or which party is uh, who insulted who? You know that is news. Or which which um, who stole what? That is news. But they are not keen on making. Uh, you know, investing in stocks and all that and seeing their stocks grow. So I, I, I like that story that you've given about your, that, that principle. Yeah. From an early age, some of those habits that they invested from a very early age, then manifest in their old life. So uh, you said that uh, you, you were talking about the things that we can do to evolve into better blueprints. Yeah, that's, that, that's where you are at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. And uh, you know, it does not have to be so complicated, mm -hmm. even in our children. Mm -hmm. You know, something as simple, like right? mm -hmm. that director told me they used to check the newspaper, that part. Mm -hmm. As simple as that, mm -hmm. I am sure they never even got into any money class. Mm -hmm. But that simple act mm -hmm. coming from the parent mm -hmm. is what transformed their lives mm -hmm. financially. Mm -hmm. I wish we were able to do those simple things. Mm -hmm. Even as parents at home, mm -hmm. like what we are talking about, the business news. Mm -hmm. Call our children. Mm -hmm. Please, we are watching the business news. And they saw, they see that you have got interest mm -hmm. in it. Mm -hmm. You are not in, or just interested with uh, which party is uh, doing it mm -hmm. or, you know, mm -hmm. those, uh, which dog beat, uh, which man beat, beat which, which dog. dog. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Just a simple act. Mm -hmm. Small, small things, mm -hmm. like bringing your kid a, a saving journey, being mm -hmm. part of, mm -hmm. of that journey. Mm -hmm. 
simple small things mm -hmm. that we can do mm -hmm. to program our children mm -hmm. in the right way mm -hmm. and you know the bible is very clear mm -hmm. train up a children a child in the way they should go mm -hmm. and when they are old they will never depart from it mm -hmm. even with this money mm -hmm. uh the money subject mm -hmm. We can work on our children's blueprint, mm -hmm. and even ours. It is mm -hmm. never too late. Mm -hmm. So invest in finance literacy. Mm -hmm. Be deliberate. Be intentional. Mm -hmm. uh, be self-aware. Mm -hmm. Address some of the things that are affecting us mm -hmm. uh, negatively, mm -hmm. and be prepared to take the journey mm -hmm. because it's always a journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no that solution that comes in a snap. Mm -hmm. It's always a journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And 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 as you said, uh, when you walk through that journey. You will see results. Definitely. Mm, you will see good, either good results or bad results. Um, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, we were, depending on what it is that you do, mm -hmm. it will definitely give you uh, fruits. Mm -hmm. uh, if you decide today, I'm getting out of debt. Mm -hmm. I'm so much into debt. Mm -hmm. I'm starting this journey mm -hmm. of getting out of debt. Mm -hmm. It is just a matter of time. Mm -hmm. And you see, start seeing positive results. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you leave it like that, mm -hmm. you still see results mm -hmm. because you are going to get deeper into debt. Mm -hmm. Because now you'll be borrowing again to pay mm -hmm. the, you'll be borrowing from C mm -hmm. to, pay, to pay B. Mm -hmm. At some point you borrow from D mm -hmm. to pay C, C. Mm -hmm. you see. Mm -hmm. So either way, mm -hmm. you have got uh, results. Mm -hmm. And this we need to be very, very intentional, especially about the money subject, mm -hmm. about our programming, about our money, prog our money blueprint. Mm -hmm. So that... Uh, we move out of that pit mm -hmm. that we could be in, mm -hmm. or we don't get in if we are not already in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Time, time really, really uh, flies. Uh, really, really flies when we are having a good time. Uh, uh, now, um, you had said that it's going to be an assignment, and then you, you will talk about the parting shot. But before you do that, uh, are there are there are there are there books that we can read? Are there programs that we can watch? Are there uh, things that can help us into the programming or conditioning. Because I know conditioning requires reading and reading or listening and listening or seeing uh, a number of times. You know, in, even in the Bible, they talk about verily, verily, I say unto you. Yeah. Jesus would have said verily, but he said verily, verily to just emphasize what he wanted to drive across. So are there books, are there programs, are there things that you can recommend for parents or even young adults to read. I know there is a book that you've written that you would recommend. So are there things or books or uh, programs that people can get into that can help them in their conditioning or unlearn conditions, wrong conditions that they had? And they learn. Yeah. And learn. Mm -hmm. And they learn. They learn, yes. And uh, actually, there is a lot of information mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. If uh, you you look for it, you really find this information. Mm -hmm. When you're intentional about something, mm -hmm. you, you really get to find it. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of information, mm -hmm. even online. Mm -hmm. But even before you go into leading, mm -hmm. first is to evaluate yourself. Mm -hmm. Me as a person, mm -hmm. how do I relate with money? Mm -hmm. What is my financial blueprint, mm -hmm. what is it that I need to do mm -hmm. or stop doing. Mm -hmm. Because most of the time we are aware, mm -hmm. we know where we go wrong. Mm -hmm. So start with accepting, this mm -hmm. is where I am, mm -hmm. I need to move from from here. Mm -hmm. Attend finance literacy uh, classes. Mm -hmm. When they are given, mm -hmm. let it not be for others, mm -hmm. let it be for me. Mm -hmm. uh, just something, there are people who have attended just one forum mm -hmm. and they get their solutions that they so much needed. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. others who may need to walk a journey. Mm -hmm. uh, you could also involve a money coach mm -hmm. or a finance advisor. Mm -hmm. We are the people who are uh, uh, not utilized mm -hmm. by many people mm -hmm. because they are thinking, what can you tell me about money? Mm -hmm. You know, I know everything. Mm -hmm. Or you cannot change me. Mm -hmm. And of course I cannot change you at this point. Mm -hmm. But at least it is good to invest in that journey. Mm -hmm. Invest in finance literacy, like mm -hmm. little books like mm -hmm. the ones I've quoted mm -hmm. uh, by Eka, mm -hmm. The Millionaire's Mind. It's mm -hmm. a very, very good book. Mm -hmm. There's also, I've also written a few books, mm -hmm. and actually, this one is, uh, is one of them. Mm -hmm. And this is a workbook. A Personal Money Nuggets workbook. Yeah, it's a workbook. Mm -hmm. it, ha it has assignments all mm -hmm. through. Mm -hmm. So that it is not just about leading, leading, mm -hmm. it's also about mm -hmm. uh, doing. Mm -hmm. 
uh, find, look for this information. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. work with somebody, mm -hmm. even a family member. If mm -hmm. you don't want a, a, a money coach, mm -hmm. work with a family member. Mm -hmm. Those of us who are married, mm -hmm. marry your money. Mm -hmm. Many times we marry, we marry everything else, but not our money. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Marry everything else, that but our money is not married. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's your money and my money, uh -huh. but we are married. Yeah. <laughs> Marry your money. Uh -huh. Have those conversations. The two of you. The two of you. Mm -hmm. Walk that journey mm -hmm. because it's always a journey. Mm -hmm. And most of the time you find yourself with uh, very different money personalities. Mm -hmm. Like me and my husband, I can tell you mm -hmm. our money personalities mm -hmm. are very, very different. Mm -hmm. But at least now we are aware mm -hmm. because we have walked the journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So I, I, I'm, I'm told our time is up. So you had said that there is going to be an assignment. Yeah. yeah, so you can give us the assignment and then you give us the parting shot. So we start with the assignment. The assignment is uh, try to evaluate mm -hmm. what is that mm -hmm. that you heard about money? Mm -hmm. What are those things that are hidden in you mm -hmm. around the area of money mm -hmm. that drive you or drive the decisions that you make around money? Mm -hmm. uh, please reflect back, mm -hmm. write them down. Mm -hmm. uh, Write them down, write them a few of them, mm -hmm. and write beside them. What mm -hmm. is it that I can do to mm -hmm. improve this so that it does not continue affecting me mm -hmm. in a negative way? Mm -hmm. So that is the assignment, mm -hmm. to reflect back and write down. Mm -hmm. And my parting shot mm -hmm. is that actually the best things in life, mm -hmm. they are free. They don't cost money. Wow. Like sleep, mm -hmm. for example, how much money do you pay for you to sleep? And I'm not saying buying a bed, mm -hmm. just having that sleep and you sleep. Mm -hmm. You don't pay nothing. Mm -hmm. you just put yourself into bed and you sleep. Mm -hmm. And that is one of the best things that you can have in life. Mm -hmm. Friends, mm -hmm. you know that family, mm -hmm. having those good memories, mm -hmm. a hug. Mm -hmm. A hug is free. Mm -hmm. And it's all among the best things in life. Mm -hmm. So please let's relate with money the right way. Mm -hmm. yep. The best things in life are free. Are actually free. Wow. You don't pay for them. Uh -huh. yeah. Wow, wow, wow. The best things in life are free. Please remind us again the assignment. That you sit down, mm -hmm. reflect back, mm -hmm. of course with a pen and a paper. Yes. Write down mm -hmm. some of the things that you had as a child mm -hmm. around money. Mm -hmm. And uh, beside their light, how do they affect you, mm -hmm. either positively mm -hmm. or negatively? Mm -hmm. And what is it that you can do, mm -hmm. you can start doing mm -hmm. or stop doing mm -hmm. to improve that? So that assignment has got three columns, mm -hmm. the things you had, mm -hmm how they affect you, mm -hmm. what you can do to improve it, that. So the things you've done, yeah. you have, the, 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 how they affect you, yeah. positively or negatively. Yes, yes. And the third column is how you can... What you can do. Do or not do. Or stop doing. Stop doing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I hope you, viewer, I hope you've gotten that. Thank you very much for coming. I truly, 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 truly appreciate. And uh, I personally have learned a number of things that I didn't know. And uh, thank you very much for coming and spending time with us and sharing this information. Where can we get your books? Uh, my books are on my website. Mm -hmm. Our website is www.atikafrica.com. Mm -hmm. Atik is A-T-I-Q-U-E. Mm -hmm. You can also call me mm -hmm. you can, or text me or mm -hmm. WhatsApp me, you'll mm -hmm. find me. Mm -hmm. I'm also on Instagram, I'm on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Facebook, I'm Elizabeth Waidaka. Mm -hmm. Instagram, I'm my money coach. Mm -hmm. And on YouTube, mm -hmm. I'm Elizabeth, the money coach. Elizabeth, the money coach. Yes. I hope you've gotten all that, a lot of information, places that you can get her. Or if you didn't get all that, you can get in touch with Wema. We will link you to her. And she is a wonderful resource. Kindly make use of her. Uh, as she said, money coaches are the least utilized. And uh, people make mistakes. Don't make mistakes. Learn from her. She's here. She's ready to be used uh, to help you get better and make you grow. Thank you very much for coming. Thank and you. thank you, viewer, for watching us. And uh, this was a wonderful show. May God bless you. Get better money. -wise. Good things. The best things in life, they are free. Are free. Yeah. God bless you.